Greetings to everyone. My name is Jens Ranke. I am the director of the Institute for the Study of Humanistic Buddhism, ISHB, here at University of the West. I warmly welcome you in the name of the Institute to the fifth installment of our monthly lecture series, Modern and Contemporary Buddhist Encounters in the Southern Sinosphere. The lecture series is organized by the Institute's scholarly working group with the same name, which is part of ISHB's overarching initiative to promote the multifaceted study of Chinese Buddhism under the global condition. The working group examines post 19th century entanglements amongst Buddhist actors and their surrounding societies throughout the Southern Sinosphere, a region comprised of the South China Sea and its bordering countries. I'm very excited to introduce today's guest, Dr. Elsa Lau. Dr. Lau will be speaking on pilgrimage, traveling gurus and transnational networks, lay meditation movements in contemporary Chinese societies. Dr. Lau is a senior lecturer, which is the equivalent of an associate professor at the Education University of Hong Kong and assistant professor part-time at the, uh, at the Department of Buddhist Studies at Fogong University. After completing her master's in philosophy in social anthropology at Oxford, she completed her PhD thesis on the emergence of Theravada meditation communities in contemporary China at the Department of Politics, Philosophy, and Religion at Lancaster University. She has published academic papers and book chapters on transnational Buddhist meditation and mindfulness in Chinese societies. Before we begin, just a few more words on the format of today's event. Dr. Lau will give her presentation for about 40 minutes, followed by 20 minutes for Q&A from the audience. The Q&A session will be, as usually, will be moderated by Dr. Vivraine Walters, the Institute's graduate affiliate. Please write your questions in the chat during the talk. So without further ado, please welcome Dr. Elsa Lau. Hi, uh, good evening, uh, good morning, and good afternoon. So let me uh, share the screen first. So uh, can you see the screen? Yes. I think it's still loading up. Oh, no, now it's here. Perfect. OK, so uh, thank uh, James and the uh, Reverend. Um, thank you. Uh, thank for the uh, invitation by uh, James, uh, Dr. James uh, Ranker uh, from the Institute for the Study of Humanistic Buddhism, the University of the West. It's my great honor uh, to share with you uh, about my research on um, my field work and uh, especially the lay meditation movement in contemporary Chinese uh, societies. So today I'm going to uh, share uh, the focus about uh, uh, lay meditation uh, movement, including the network in contemporary uh, China. So um, as uh, just like uh, other religions, um, Buddhist monastics uh, have uh, brought um, uh, have uh, has, have paid a lot of uh, efforts uh, in uh, spreading uh, Buddhism uh, to uh, other countries. And Buddhism provides many examples of religious places and movements with uh, pilgrimage routes, missionary activities, sacred landscapes, and global developments. So globalization has played a key role of the emergence of migration and transnational religious network. However, transnational religious networks developed by pilgrims or travelers are under research. So uh, in this uh, uh, lecture, uh, I will share the recent emergence of lay meditation activities and transnational religious network in contemporary Chinese societies, especially mainland China, from my field work uh, between 2016 uh, and uh, 2020. So when I start my field work, um, it's very uh, excited, uh, exci uh, exciting for me uh, to know that uh, there is an increasing number of Chinese from mainland China traveling to Southeast Asia to learn meditation practices. Uh, Theravada traditions. Uh, 
not only Vipassana, but also uh, Samatha meditation. Uh, uh, you may know that uh, the, uh, the Kao uh, tradition or the forest uh, tradition uh, in Thailand. So um, most of them traveled to uh, Myanmar, Thailand, but uh, also some traveled to uh, Sri Lanka. Some of them uh, I would stay there for a few months or uh, maybe only uh, a few days or uh, two weeks combined with uh, 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 tourists uh, traveling. Uh, but some, uh, some have uh, stayed there uh, for uh, short term months and months. And uh, as I know uh, from my informants, some of them uh, even uh, have stayed there uh, as a, a quite long term uh, months or months uh, in uh, these countries. Uh, especially in uh, Thailand and also in uh, Myanmar, uh, where there are a lot of uh, meditation uh, centers. And, and most of them uh, returned to China, uh, becoming um, uh, activists uh, in uh, joining some meditation uh, groups, or some uh, uh, have become activists, uh, activists uh, in uh, promoting meditation in Theravada tradition and organizing retreats in China and building meditation uh, communities. Uh, so uh, the photos, the two photos I took uh, in 2016 uh, was a meditation uh, retreat. It's a 10 day, 10 day meditation retreat um, at uh, uh, Mahayana Chinese uh, monastery. Uh, so it's not uh, the traditional or uh, official Chan hall or Tan Tang uh, in, uh, in a monastery. It's just a lecture hall, a very big lecture hall, which can, can locate uh, 1,000 people uh, uh, sitting there uh, for attending the lecture. But they transformed that uh, as um, uh, a meditation hall. And uh, you see meditators uh, were sitting there uh, on the, uh, uh, a long uh, bench. And, uh, and it's a silent retreat uh, for 10 days. And I joined that uh, retreat uh, as a, a Dharma worker volunteer. So, uh, I will uh, come back for this uh, uh, retreat again in the latest slides. So um, can, uh, we can have a look of uh, the case of uh, Yao Zhen. Uh, Yao Zhen, uh, um, a, Chinese a Chinese lady uh, from uh, uh, Beijing uh, with a well-educated background. And uh, when I knew her, uh, she was about uh, 30 years old and she has stayed uh, in Myanmar for uh, uh, the one year in 2015 um, <clears throat> to 16. Uh, so the purpose is very, uh, was very simple. Uh, she just wanted to learn uh, Theravada meditation uh, in Myanmar. And she quit her job uh, to, <clears throat> to uh, fulfill this, um, uh, um, his, uh, her dream. And uh, after the trip, uh, she uh, posed uh, on uh, WeChat, uh, the racing, um, the, um, uh, uh, oh, China style website uh, in, in, in China. Uh, so uh, uh, to share about uh, her experience, uh, kind of spiritual experience <clears throat> um, after the retreat, what does the international Christian in Myanmar look like? So I'm not going to read it out. I may have a um, few seconds for reading that. But I want to highlight that uh, uh, here. So uh, firstly, uh, she planned to uh, stay at, at Chami Sayadol because she heard, uh, she heard that Chami Sayadol's meditation center and also meditation practices uh, uh, quite fit her. Uh, but later she moved to uh, Uta Satmi Sayadol's uh, uh, center uh, for uh, learning um, uh, that type of uh, vipassana uh, meditation, and, uh, and and from this uh, sh uh, sh from this paragraph, uh, she just want to share that um, uh, people uh, in uh, in uh, in Myanmar uh, can enjoy uh, the meditation uh, life uh, or meditation retreat uh, without uh, uh, joining internet. Uh, but uh, she uh, she wants to say that uh, it's very kind that uh, at Uta Satmiya's uh, say at uh, center. Uh, some Wi-Fi wi wi was uh, accessible so that uh, they can also contact uh, to uh, their family uh, members to, um, to report that uh, they, uh, they were safe uh, in, in Myanmar.
So next, yeah, she she just say uh, Xiaoming uh, Center uh, is a center where uh, uh, Sayadaw Wu does that mean, uh, 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 teaches uh, meditation there. And she said, Uta Satnia is compassionate to consider the need of uh, international prisoners. So it's, she's, she's just uh, playing a joke about uh, uh, international prisoners uh, to, uh, to refer to international meditation uh, yogis or uh, international meditation uh, meditators. Um, so for the uh, paragraph I highlight uh, in uh, red color, uh, so she shared uh, her uh, spiritual experience in meditation and the benefits of cutting off and leaving. So she invites um, people to join, uh, uh, to join meditation retreat uh, to uh, experience, to let go uh, defilements, wealth and pain. So this is one of the uh, many cases that uh, people shared uh, their meditation experience after um, attending retreat uh, or traveling to um, uh, countries uh, um, of their meditation retreat. So um, uh, it's interesting to uh, to ask uh, what, what has facilitated uh, Han Chinese from China making pilgrimage to other countries to learn Buddhist meditation in Theravada tradition, uh, which is not the uh, mainstream uh, Mahayana uh, Chinese tradition. And also how about the uh, uh, Chan, the traditional Chan school, and uh, so what? Why has a uh, why has Theravada meditation appealed to Han Chinese, and how uh, how has uh, this uh, transnational meditation movement uh, impact on uh, the existing Chinese Buddhism uh, in contemporary uh, China? So. Uh, this is my comment as a content. Uh, I will uh, firstly have a. Uh, uh, a brief touch uh, on uh, modern Buddhism and lay meditation movement, and then uh, about Chinese traveling to Southeast Asia to learn uh, meditation. Um, so uh, the Buddhist reformer in Asia, uh, for example, Anagarika Dhammapala uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, has started to uh, uh, revive uh, Buddhism and uh, in, to include uh, in a more scientific uh, way. Uh, to uh, present Buddhist doctrine in a more scientific way. And uh, also uh, in, uh, in China, uh, the father of, of the Chinese Buddhist uh, revival, Yang Wenhui, uh, who met uh, Dhammapala uh, in the late 19th century, uh, also uh, tried to revive uh, Chinese uh, Buddhism in a, a different way. And uh, in, uh, uh, in another country, uh, in uh, Myanmar, Buddhism has been uh, modernized and uh, which uh, give rise to the lay meditation movement. Uh, for example, uh, the lady Sayado, uh, who modernized the meditation uh, uh, in a, a more simple way uh, to introduce uh, to the lay people uh, uh, because uh, she, uh, he, uh, he was worried about uh, the uh, decline of uh, Buddhism uh, under the uh, British uh, colonialism. So um, uh, all these uh, uh, also um, introduce uh, the uh, Vipassana of uh, Mahasi's uh, teaching in the uh, 1960s, and uh, and the Mahasi Sayadaw's uh, lay meditation, uh, mass and lay meditation has been introduced to uh, many other uh, Asian countries, uh, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Nepal, and then to the West, uh, the UK, the United States. United States. And then uh, uh, I will also mention that uh, later uh, to Taiwan and then uh, Hong Kong and also uh, to uh, contemporary uh, China. And, uh, and, and many people uh, would uh, recognize that uh, the inside meditation, the, the Lei Guan Tan uh, in China, in Taiwan, they call it uh, Lei Guan Chan, uh, inside meditation, or they are referring to the Vipassana uh, meditation as a, a, a common uh, uh, meditation practices uh, in Theravada tradition. And it's uh, easy to learn uh, for, um, uh, for uh, lay people. And also the Vipassana uh, uh, practices of uh, Guanka's uh, teaching, uh, uh, especially the 10-day uh, Vipassana uh, retreat 
um, uh, is um, has been as that established over uh, 30, uh, 300, sorry, 300 uh, meditation centers in the world. Uh, in Taiwan, uh, is um, the first the personal meditation with me uh, was held in 95, in Hong Kong 98, and then uh, in China 99. Uh, so from my field work, <clears throat> uh, there were uh, six uh, personal meditation centers uh, with uh, going to teachings. And uh, is um, uh, uh, is is with the effort uh, of uh, Taiwan uh, Taiwanese and also some Hong Kong uh, uh, because because are now meditation teachers and they are lay people so they travel to uh, China uh, to uh, promote uh, this uh, uh, this retreat ten day retreat and also uh, uh, Jack Confuse uh, inside meditation um, uh, for lay people. Uh, the Inside Meditation Society set up in 1976, and also the uh, book, uh, his book, uh, Living Dharma, uh, was translated to uh, Chinese uh, by Taiwanese. Uh, but also nowadays, uh, 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 people, uh, Chinese people uh, in China can uh, also easily access this book uh, from the internet. And also, uh, uh, Jack Confield's one one of the uh, teacher one of the uh, Jack Confield's teacher uh, Tifa Ma uh, a female um, uh, uh, lay teacher um, her book was also accessible uh, in Taiwan and also in in China and all these uh, has um, uh, influence have influenced uh, the uh, transnational meditation um, uh, I would say movement uh, in Chinese societies. And uh, so another key factor uh, is uh, the Buddhist revival in uh, mainland China uh, since the 1980s. Uh, the Chan uh, the Chan Fever, uh, Gong Fu Fever in the 1980s. Uh, so since the, uh, the uh, open policy uh, of uh, China and also the, uh, the mind body uh, healing, uh, including uh, Qi Gong Fever, uh, Sai Go Gong, health cultivation, and uh, Master uh, Jing Wei, uh, who was a disciple of uh, Xu Yun, uh, organized a light child uh, summer camp uh, for both uh, female and male uh, young uh, people, uh, especially the undergraduates uh, in around Beijing uh, area in at uh, Bailin uh, Monastery uh, since 1993. And uh, interestingly, um, this uh, Bailin Monastery uh, uh, was placed for uh, the first uh, Goenka's uh, 10 day because now we treat uh, to be uh, held. <clears throat> and, uh, um, and, and one, one thing uh, I would also explain uh, in more in detail so uh, women are denied uh, until now, uh, uh, denied to uh, assess uh, Chan halls, uh, except uh, Daomi uh, Monastery, uh, another traditional Chan monastery. Uh, so, this is also uh, one of the uh, reasons that. Uh, um, Many uh, non Buddhist nuns, uh, Bishuni, and also um, Chinese women uh, travel to other countries to learn uh, meditation because uh, in, in Myanmar, in Thailand, uh, 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 male and or female can also assess the meditation uh, hall and they can also learn uh, with uh, other uh, yogis uh, together. Uh, another reason is uh, uh, from my informants, uh, there is a generation gap of uh, Chan teachers. So that uh, many uh, uh, in, um, many Buddhist monks uh, in Chan monastery uh, do not uh, really understand uh, the uh, the practice of the traditional uh, Chan school, and uh, they uh, uh, for example the uh, Tang Gong An or uh, uh, Tang Hua Tou, uh, uh, they they don't they don't really understand uh, how to how to do that. So this is also one of the reasons that um, Chinese. Uh, uh, people, especially the educated, uh, um, with educated background, uh, travel to <clears throat> other countries to learn education. Uh, so, uh, as I mentioned, distribution of translated books of Theravada meditation is the key. And uh, Taiwanese have, have done, uh, Buddhist Taiwanese have done uh, a lot of work. For example, the uh, Dhammapada and uh, Ajahn Chah's book. Uh, um, uh, also, uh, so you see, this is a deeper master, that is Jack Confuse, a living Buddhist uh, masters. And uh, also, uh, uh, many other books uh, are 
translated by uh, some uh, Taiwanese uh, Buddhist monks and nuns and also uh, books, uh, book publishers. Uh, they publish books about uh, Adon Cha and also uh, many existing uh, uh, or contemporary um, uh, meditation teachers. So all these uh, have also um, uh, contributed uh, to the, uh, uh, the lay meditation uh, movement. So another uh, social and uh, social background uh, is uh, the uh, the economic uh, growth, uh, rapid economic growth of uh, China, uh, which uh, facilitate uh, tourism, especially the outbound uh, tourism uh, in China uh, since the um, uh, the uh, after two thousand. Um, so the inbound Buddhism, uh, the outbound Buddhism. Uh, and you see, this is some data. So, uh, the, in 2016, 10, uh, top 10 popular countries uh, of uh, outbound tourism uh, are Thailand, uh, Japan, Singapore, and Malaysia. So, and also uh, because of the uh, economic growth, uh, uh, quite many uh, Chinese people can afford to travel uh, to Myanmar and Thailand uh, uh, for, uh, for tourism, uh, but also uh, for um, uh, visiting the uh, uh, religious sites, uh, uh, Buddhist sites, and also uh, learn meditation uh, in in these uh, countries. So I, I heard uh, I, I didn't show I uh, I I haven't show a slides here, uh, but uh, in one case uh, from my uh, from one of my informants, uh, he op he helped organize uh, uh, trips uh, from uh, for people uh, from uh, China to Thailand. Uh, via Bangkok, and so uh, people stay there. Uh, people will stay there for uh, one or two weeks in uh, in, in hotel, and then the, the hotel uh, was just next uh, to a monastery uh, with a meditation teacher. So every day they stay at the hotel and practice at the hotel, uh, but every day they went to the temple uh, uh, to um, to bow to the uh, to the ajang and then uh, listen to dharma talks. Uh, 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 Given uh, by the uh, by the teachers, and uh, uh, for these kinds of uh, uh, trip, uh, it's organized for quite many times. So people travel uh, to uh, Thailand uh, as a tourist, and they and uh, it's uh, for them it's more safe and free that uh, they um, uh, they don't need to uh, uh, report to anyone that uh, they uh, they join the religious uh, activities uh, in other countries. And, uh, uh, and another thing is uh, the construction of a uh, heritage sites and Buddhist pilgrimage in China. Buddhist pilgrimage in China uh, has started uh, very early uh, since 1980s. For example, some uh, many uh, national uh, uh, scenic spots like uh, uh, Wu Tai Shan, uh, Mountain Wu Tai, and attract a lot of uh, uh, visitors. Uh, but the problem uh, uh, is uh, the commercialization of a Buddhist monastery. Um, so uh, like a uh, teacher, um, <clears throat> uh, a Buddhist scholar uh, in, uh, from Paris uh, did uh, write an uh, article about that. And also it was uh, this kind of commercialization of uh, Buddhism and also Buddhist uh, monasteries was also condemned by uh, the Buddhist leaders uh, in China. For example, variable uh, Sheng Hui, uh, a leader of Buddhist association in 2015. And, and the commercialization uh, of uh, Buddhism uh, uh, also a factor for those uh, educated uh, Buddhists uh, uh, to leave um, uh, China to search uh, their spiritual uh, teachers. So um, uh, for example, but, but, uh, from this, I just want to uh, share that uh, uh, some uh, Burmese uh, meditation teachers uh, who are also uh, international known, uh, for example, uh, Bahasi Sayadaw's uh, uh, disciples like uh, Upandita, uh, Chan Mi have visited uh, China for a few times uh, for some short uh, retreats, and also uh, Lok Bo Tong. <clears throat> so these are some, uh, they visit quite a few times. So uh, next I'm going to share about uh, those, um, uh, some uh, uh, interview transcripts uh, by my uh, informants. Uh, who travel to uh, Southeast Asia to learn meditation. But for example, Zhou Fu uh, uh, is a pseudonym, uh, um, a man uh, from uh, Liaoning, and he's a professional kind of a, a designer. Uh, he has been a Buddhist since he was 15, uh, but he 
he felt uh, he has felt doubt about the traditional Chinese Mahayana Buddhist practice, uh, especially um, um, some uh, Buddhist rituals. <clears throat> so this uh, this is uh, uh, his quote. He liked Buddhism a lot, uh, but uh, it's too busy <laughs> uh, for uh, for for dealing with those uh, visitors. And he, he tells us about the pure land set. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no offense to pure land. And uh, uh, once uh, and one experience uh, at uh, Yunjishan, uh, you may note uh, uh, Yunjishan uh, 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 is <clears throat> uh, is a Chan uh, a Chan school uh, of uh, Chi Yun Master Chi Yin. Uh, is a point of, uh, at that time. Uh, he said that no meal with her work, uh, but he worked very hard uh, in those week or 10 days, uh, but he he even uh, could not uh, sleep well. So he said, um, at that time I wondered if it was possible to have my own room, a place with not much work, only meditation. It would be so wonderful if there was. So uh, another case uh, by a um, young lady, uh, Chen Jing. So she has explored uh, various uh, um, religious uh, thoughts, uh, Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. And later she learns uh, Nian Fo. And once uh, she was asked to teach English by, an, uh, uh, by a senior monk uh, at the temple in uh, uh, so Suzhou in, uh, near Shanghai. And, and this old monk uh, told her that uh, he wanted to visit Myanmar to learn meditation. That's why uh, he would like to learn English. The monk told her, Theravada practice is better than Nianfo. Are you confident in reaching the pure land after that? So, so it seems that interestingly, there is doubt uh, uh, about the tradi some traditional Buddhist thoughts or mainstream Buddhist uh, thoughts and practices, not only by educated people, but also by some uh, uh, experienced um, uh, monastics in uh, China. And later, uh, Chen Jing uh, attends a meditation retreat uh, about uh, learning about Agama and Satipatthana uh, from uh, Konghai, a Taiwanese monk uh, who traveled a lot uh, to um, uh, China. And also, uh, uh, even he could not travel at uh, their uh, read their audio tapes uh, 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 would be brought to uh, China and spread uh, very quickly uh, in some communities. And then uh, she understands that uh, 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 about uh, Satipatthana, the, uh, the four foundations of mindfulness practices, and gave up the name for uh, without hesitation. And later, uh, she attends regular uh, Satipatthana classes uh, at uh, uh, Suzhou at the Buddhist monastery, uh, who, touched by, uh, who taught by a Chinese monk who, tra who had traveled to Myanmar and learn meditation uh, of Mahasi and Xiongin. And later this lady uh, and also her husband uh, travel a lot to Myanmar to learn uh, meditation. Um, so um, some Chinese Buddhists, especially those with middle class and educated background uh, have practiced uh, Chinese Buddhism. Uh, they are unsatisfied or some uh, even are discontent uh, with some thoughts or mainstream thoughts and practices in Chinese Buddhism. And uh, that's why uh, they, uh, they had the idea of exploring uh, alternative, alternatives um, from Buddhist practices in Theravada tradition. So they, they, uh, they did not give up Buddhism, uh, but they, uh, uh, but they, uh, they, they had adopted all the, uh, the mainstream uh, or traditional uh, practices. So uh, seeking the right meditation teacher. So uh, in the beginning, I introduced the case of uh, um, uh, Yao Zhen. And you see, uh, she uh, uh, before their trip uh, to uh, Southeast Asia, uh, they have ex uh, already explored uh, uh, the background of meditation teachers and uh, uh, who is the best. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then they can uh, plan to stay there for a longer time, uh, one year or half year. And, so, uh, for example, uh, Chen Jing, the lady I just mentioned, um, and she uh, she thought that the teaching of uh, Xiu Meng uh, suits her needs. Uh, so she and her husband uh, 
travel there uh, uh, as their honeymoon <laughs> at the Xiaoming Center. And uh, so Xiaoming Sayado passed away, and uh, her um, his uh, disciple Wu uh, Dazania Sayado uh, took up the uh, had taken up the role uh, at Xiaoming Center uh, is uh, at uh, Yanga. And since then, uh, she and her husband travel to the center uh, every year. Uh, uh, also, uh, they try to spread the teaching uh, of Buddha um, uh, Sanya uh, through which her blogs and also um, other podcast uh, website uh, like uh, uh, Shimalaya uh, podcast podcast uh, uh, website in China. Uh, so uh, Xiaoming Zerdo uh, was one of the uh, disciple of uh, Mahasi Zerdo. Uh, uh, and, uh, and and nowadays, uh, the Uta Satnia uh, uh, Sayado uh, has attracted uh, international meditate, meditators and he traveled to also Europe, Switzerland, uh, 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 or some other European countries uh, to teach meditation. And, uh, and the teaching, and uh, his teaching is quite unique. Uh, he teaches about uh, aware, awareness of mind. So uh, he, he reminds uh, meditators to uh, to bring awareness to the awareness. So where is your awareness? That's uh, how he always mentioned. And uh, uh, so I'm not going to go in detail, sir, but uh, it seems that uh, in China, uh, Uta Satnia Seado's style uh, is very uh, popular and welcomed by uh, many Chinese uh, because his style is very free and uh, uh, unlike uh, other uh, Burmese meditation teachers, and uh, you, you see, he always, he laughed like this, always laughed like this. Uh, during the interviews, uh, he, he laughed at the, uh, some of the um, uh, stupid questions of the meditators. And uh, also, uh, he, was, uh, uh, he was named as a Burmese uh, sixth patria. So it's, it's named by the meditators because it's uh, his freestyle. There's no fixed schedule uh, at, uh, at his uh, retreat. And, uh, he uh, he always uh, he also uh, uh, very encouraging uh, in, during the interviews and he can respond uh, interviewees um, and meditators uh, questions very well and so people like uh, like him and he has traveled to China at least two times or three times um, and his books uh, uh, two two uh, two books have been uh, translated into Chinese uh, by uh, by a, uh, by an ex monk. And then this monk, uh, this monk uh, 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 joined a um, uh, joined as a bhikkhu again uh, in Myanmar uh, at uh, uh, following uh, Uta Sanya. Uh, held uh, at the Buddhist monastery I just mentioned is a Mahayana Chinese uh, Buddhist monastery, and uh, Uta Sanya was invited uh, to be uh, a, a teacher there. Uh, a 10 day retreat uh, in Jiangxi. Uh, so, vegetarian diet was provided and people sitting. This is uh, uh, one of the uh, meditators uh, there uh, in that retreat. Uh, Okay, can you hear now? Yes, I'm sorry. It's the house Wi-Fi. So uh, you can see the screen also. That's good. So uh, Yuan Yuan uh, is a, a school teacher. Uh, she has stayed at the uh, Xiaoming Center in 2014. And then uh, when she knew that uh, Uta Satnia uh, would visit uh, China uh, for a uh, for retreat in uh, 2016, uh, she uh, immediately registered for that meditation retreat. And uh, she, she, she chose to follow uh, the practice. She said, a, cool, a good meditation teacher can understand the meditation level of the students. When you have doubts, the teacher can give you a copy advice, encourage you, and increase your uh, interest in meditation. Um, so uh, this is uh, 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 Yao Zhen. Uh, Yao Zhen uh, did mention a part of this to stay at Xiaoming, uh, but uh, Uta Sanya was not there. She moved to Chami uh, Center. And, um, so she mentioned that uh, she uh, she made progress as a beginner, 
but still had doubts about meditation. So after reading the Dharma sharing of Peter Sandia, uh, her mind was certainly uh, uh, illuminated. Uh, so meditators in China, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they seriously think and uh, choose about uh, uh, the meditation that teachers. Another uh, informant, uh, Yang Lei, a PhD student, uh, he had retreats, uh, uh, he had attended retreats uh, in the United States and China, but they struggled in some uh, retreats, um, for example, uh, uh, Pao Zedo's method, uh, uh, which uh, emphasized uh, uh, practicing uh, samatha, um, uh, jhana, attaining jhana first, uh, before any uh, sana practice. And uh, he struggled a lot about the practice. And uh, he, he commented that the, the experience was uh, very uh, pushing. But unlike the Mahasi traditions uh, way. Okay. And then uh, after he uh, knew the uh, practice of uh, uh, Uda Sanya at Shuoming Center, he traveled to Yangna uh, to learn uh, from this uh, teacher. Um, so I will skip this. So uh, they so they uh, they learn uh, meditation very seriously, and then uh, they would try to uh, compare the experience uh, uh, and also the teachings uh, among different teachers. So the quality of teachers, interpretation of the Dharma, teaching style, authentic meditation environment are all important criteria for staying in a retreat center and following a specific uh, guru or teacher. And also about the healing experience, so whether uh, the uh, meditation experience can heal uh, uh, themselves. So another condition is uh, the, uh, the environment, the physical environment of the uh, meditation center. For example, Yao Zhen, uh, uh, who wrote uh, on her blog, sharing about the, uh, uh, the food, uh, the var varieties of food provided uh, by uh, the meditation center. And also the uh, uh, also the Burmese uh, cooking, <laughs> uh, spicy and sour, and uh, also uh, many fruits and desserts, uh, uh, etc. Uh, but uh, they uh, they uh, they um, they commit uh, to fulfill the uh, the precept, the, the eight precept, uh, no food uh, after uh, after twelve o'clock, and also the living uh, condition. So uh, many uh, international papers uh, can have uh, one one footy or one room uh, by uh, themselves. So this is provided by Yao Zhen. And, uh, and uh, another uh, uh, Yang Li, the PhD student, also shared about uh, the food and accommodation uh, is a uh, key criteria uh, for practice. For example, he records uh, uh, the uh, bad experience uh, in China. The, uh, the worst condition was when 10 people shared one room in China, the noise of snoring and going to toilets. I could not sleep for the whole night. It was like a concert. Your meditation could, would be affected by the quality of rest. And uh, in both uh, additional uh, Chan, uh, Chan school monasteries, uh, they, they have only shared, they provide only shared room, 10 or 20 people in, uh, in a big, uh, one big room. Uh, so uh, the young, well-educated uh, people uh, uh, are not dis uh, satisfied for this. So this is a, a, another Zhou Fu, uh, the, uh, the man from uh, Liu Ling. And, uh, he shared about good experience uh, as a short-term monk at um, uh, Yunnan, in Yunnan, uh, as a short-term monk in Shishan Bana. And he enjoyed the experience of uh, uh, um, excitement uh, about uh, learning the Dharma. And he, he has his own uh, kuti, and uh, he could achieve uh, his dream in staying in his own kuti.
and he also uh, he he feel it's very delight uh, to be uh, uh, among uh, receiving uh, dana a donation uh, from Igbo, and then he can practice um, um, and focus on his practice. So this is the photo he shared uh, at uh, Myanmar at the Pao Seodor's um, monastery in Meimiao uh, in, in the north. So he, he is one of them there, um, becoming uh, a Samanara, a novice uh, for eight months. And then he started meditation group at uh, Dong Xiu Dian in Beijing uh, after that. So uh, his kuti in Myanmar. This is a main male center uh, at Pao of Pao tradition. So Ma Mahasati uh, in Thai tradition, uh, uh, Dr. Esther Bianchi uh, has done a very good research uh, about this uh, uh, field work uh, with Venerable Shiji, uh, Chinese uh, Buddhist uh, nun, uh, who uh, introduced uh, Mahasati uh, Dong Zhong Chan, the Thai tradition to China. And, uh, and so some Chinese uh, and nuns uh, have, uh, and also monks have learned uh, in this tradition uh, with the help of a shuji. And then uh, they, uh, ex they can experience the satipatthana, uh, the mindfulness, uh, four foundations of mindfulness practices and, and got uh, a very good meditation experience there. Uh, so this is um, uh, the quote uh, from uh, 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 Abishuni. And uh, she also traveled uh, with uh, four other uh, Bisuni uh, nuns uh, from mainland China and stay at, uh, in Thailand, uh, Wapasukato, uh, for uh, two weeks. And they, they can also stay in one kuti uh, by themselves. So this photo was taken by me. And uh, it's a huge uh, uh, medicine center uh, in a forest. So she mentioned that it's comfortable and uh, and very fresh every day. So I need to skip this because of the time. And also uh, uh, a lady, uh, um, she she could not speak uh, English, uh, strictly speaking, uh, but uh, she, uh, with her faith uh, in Buddhist, Buddhism and also Buddhist meditation, she, tra she traveled to Yangang and stayed uh, uh, at the Masi International Center, Meditation Center for two times. And until now, uh, she decided to uh, keep the eight precept uh, in China. Uh, uh, but uh, it's difficult to, to dress uh, with the CLA um, uh, uh, Burmese uh, style. Um, but she, she, she's very uh, determined to, uh, to keep the uh, eight precepts. So challenges, uh, so um, maybe sickness, uh, political uh, reason, uh, 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 affect the visa issue. And uh, uh, more important is that after uh, returning to China, Chinese yogis uh, try to transplant the experience from Southeast Asia to China. Uh, they organize uh, uh, meditation uh, retreats and also raise funds uh, for, uh, for meditation centers in uh, Burma. Uh, in Myanmar and also in Thailand. They also promote meditation teaching through uh, uh, online websites, blogs, and mobile apps, and uh, organize uh, practice groups uh, uh, at home or at uh, uh, some secular places. And some of them uh, may invite uh, meditation, meditation teachers from uh, Thailand or Myanmar to lead uh, regular retreats. I think before 2019, so organized retreats, uh, for example, Ubandita, uh, Chami, and uh, Longbotong visit China for a few times. And uh, Goenka didn't visit China, uh, but uh, her, his attending with the now retreat are uh, uh, established uh, at least six centers established, but some closed uh, uh, in short time uh, because of the lack of uh, volunteers or uh, 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 other issues. Uh, so this uh, Bishuni uh, uh, Puli, uh, built uh, um, uh, a medicine center at uh, Nanchan uh, Monastery, Nanchan Si in uh, Fujian. And uh, she's famous, but she passed away already. And uh, also, I did mention the, uh, uh, some meditation retreats uh, held uh, in, um, 
Buddhist, Chinese Buddhist monasteries. So I skip this. So they would call it uh, Nei Guan Chan with a Sanal and meditation retreats. So to uh, distinguish from the traditional Chan school retreats. And uh, it's very rare that uh, uh, Theravada monastic Sangha uh, that can be built uh, in mainland China. Uh, but in Xishan Banna in Yunnan, uh, Dhamma Vihara Forest Monastery it was built uh, with a, a Pao uh, tradition and it's connected to the Taiwan, uh, uh, Taiwan Deepa Theravada Buddhist College uh, in uh, a branch in Taiwan. And they are connected. And uh, at least uh, uh, Pao Seado uh, and also his uh, great disciples, uh, uh, Kala and also Susila, uh, they all have visited China. Uh, in uh, in the past few years, they also try to build a high four chanzi uh, in near Beijing, uh, but the building style uh, uh, is a Chinese style. It's not in Theravada tradition because it's very, it's still sensitive to do so. But anyway, they have kept uh, the uh, connection. So every day until now, they uh, they uh, in the we chat they uh, collect money uh, to make donation to. Um, meditation centers in, uh, in Myanmar. And also because some Chinese uh, uh, we have become uh, uh, bhikkhu or monks uh, uh, in, in those meditation centers. So this is one of the example. Uh, and they also have the Facebook, Facebook page. And uh, I think one uh, also important uh, um, uh, impact is the nuns and lay women practicing Chan's national meditation and also Chan because uh, Nuns and Buddhist women are denied access to official Chan Hall, so they travel and then they uh, they they found that, uh, that they can also learn meditation, and uh, and and it impacts that Chinese women practicing Chan at four assemblies Chan Hall. Uh, so, for example, some uh, traditional Chan school uh, monasteries like the Nanhua and Yunmen in Guangdong province, they set up uh, four assemblies uh, Chan Hall, Sizhong Chan Tang. Uh, for so that women can also practice. So they are not official Chan Hall. And then uh, a very few female Chan Halls also established uh, in non -nurist. So this is uh, uh, for, uh, a Chan Hall uh, for women only uh, at the non -nurist. 40 people can practice there. Okay, so my time is up. Uh, so, oh, okay. Oh yeah, I need to jump to uh, conclusion and um, so skip the secular mindfulness. Okay. So um, uh, as con uh, I would like to conclude that the Chinese revival imports modernized uh, Buddhist practices and globalization in economic growth of China, international travel and technology have promoted transnational lay meditation in Chinese societies, especially in, in China. And uh, devote, uh, some devote, uh, Chinese Buddhists and spiritual seekers, uh, they learn, uh, uh, they're willing to learn uh, new meditation methods uh, in other countries. And they, they try to search uh, so-called authentic Buddhism or paradise uh, uh, in other Buddhist countries uh, because of the uh, mind-body healing experience. And, and they're motivated to uh, uh, transplant uh, these uh, uh, meditation communities in China to create their emergent sacred space to maintain meaningful identities. And also, uh, interestingly, some nuns and female lay have taken leading role. And uh, uh, interesting, uh, 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 and question is, uh, what's the impact to uh, Chinese Mahayana Buddhism? Um, the impact of the Vasanam and mindfulness meditation uh, have impact change on the traditional Buddhist monastery. Uh, some monks try to incorporate mindfulness uh, uh, into their retreats and Chan Hall built uh, in nunnery and also four assemblies halls at Chan uh, monasteries. Um, <clears throat> so this is uh, to conclude. Uh, so uh, I, uh, I argue that um, uh, there is an active response from the Chinese Buddhism towards the yearning, uh, yearning of self-healing practices. And also, uh, there may be repositioning Chan school uh, orthodoxy of uh, Chinese Buddhism. So I stop here. I'm sorry for <laughs> too many slides. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Elsa, for this fascinating presentation. Let's just jump right into the Q and A session. So, Vivering, please. 
Thank you, Elsa. I'm just uh, copying one that I received directly, but anyone please go ahead and uh, type your questions in the chat. The first question I had uh, received, uh, but please feel free to go ahead and post to everyone. Uh, the discussion about Buddhism in China was over the past two decades. Where do you see it going 20 years from now in China? <laughs> wow, it's a, it's a big question. Um, with the restriction of the, uh, so I, I, I did the work in the past few years uh, in China. Uh, uh, I, 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 I have done, I have not done uh, the work uh, in all uh, parts of uh, China. I, I, from my field work, I, I could see uh, Chinese people, uh, especially educated people, they are uh, very interested in uh, Buddhism and also uh, Buddhist studies. Uh, especially they are also interested in uh, uh, learning uh, how Buddhism can be connected uh, to their daily life and also uh, uh, self-healing uh, uh, experiences. And uh, I, I am optis, optimistic uh, about the, uh, the growth of uh, Buddhism. Uh, uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, it's, it's a true, it's a fact that uh, the party state uh, has uh, tried to uh, restrict uh, religion or uh, also religious activities. For example, my last uh, field work in 2020 in December, I could see that uh, they have uh, restricted uh, those uh, uh, aged not under 18 uh, to, uh, to enter a uh, temple or monastery. So, uh, so there are uh, some uh, with restriction uh, about that. Um, and I would, I, I would see that uh, with the, uh, maybe the party state uh, policy and also the, um, <clears throat> uh, the, the Buddhist leaders in, um, in China, uh, they, they tend to uh, incorporate uh, other traditions, uh, for example, the Theravada traditions uh, in, in, into uh, Chinese Buddhism. So I, uh, I would like to add uh, in my last few slides uh, uh, when I reflect about Tai Chi's uh, teachings um, uh, or Tai Chi's uh, thoughts uh, in the Republican uh, era, uh, he had this, uh, this thought <clears throat> of incorporating uh, 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 be rebuilding Chinese Buddhism uh, by incorporating uh, other traditions instead of uh, replacing uh, Chinese Buddhism uh, by other uh, uh, traditions. So um, um, this is. Thank you, Elsa. The next question um, is, I'm curious about how these Chinese meditational pilgrims perceive the different Theravada countries as locations for learning meditation? What factors influence which countries and or centers they visit? And do these pilgrims perceive any stereotypical differences between these national traditions of Theravada meditation? Okay, uh, so thank uh, for your question. So um, <clears throat> with my uh, restricted uh, uh, information, uh, I think uh, with uh, Chinese, trans Chinese translated books about that teachings uh, would be one of the conditions uh, of uh, promoting, promoting that meditation um, uh, teachings uh, of uh, specific teachers and also the meditation centers and also the style and also how uh, how quick or how fast uh, that uh, some uh, Chinese, uh, um, maybe monks or lay people uh, who learned uh, in Myanmar or Thailand and, they, and then they brought back uh, those uh, teachings uh, uh, to, to China. And also how big uh, the, uh, uh, also the network uh, they, have, uh, um, they have built uh, in, in China uh, it also, is also influential. Uh, for example, from my uh, from my uh, limited field work, I found that uh, with the ten day vipassana uh, retreat of the Wanka style, uh, maybe the most uh, structural uh, uh, one uh, in in the beginning uh, is because uh, uh, the uh, the Gawanka style or Gawanka's uh, uh, organization, they have their uh, own uh, structure. They have uh, 
uh, very um, um, uh, sincere, very good management about uh, managing different centers in different uh, countries, uh, unlike uh, other uh, teachers or uh, teachings. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, not many, uh, not many uh, centers, uh, not all centers uh, uh, can uh, uh, persist or uh, continue because of uh, many uh, other uh, factors. So it quite depends on that whether they can uh, find a, a good man, uh, uh, manage, managing, management people uh, in China uh, to, uh, to spread that. Okay. Thank you, Elsa. The next question is uh, very interesting. The cases you discuss seem to be focused on people from China seeking a particular kind of Theravada practice. So they naturally go to Southeast Asia. Do historical sites in India and Nepal play any role in these Chinese seekers' imaginations, perhaps as pilgrimage destinations? Or are India and Nepal not present in Chinese seekers' imaginations at all? Oh, so uh, thanks for the uh, question from uh, Joan. Uh, so from my, uh, from my uh, 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 field work, uh, some informants told me that uh, they visit uh, India and Nepal. Uh, uh, so they, they traveled there, uh, visiting uh, sites there. They did, they did, they did that. Uh, but I, I don't have uh, enough information uh, uh, about uh, whether they have uh, invited uh, meditation teachers uh, from Nepal or from India to uh, China to, uh, to start uh, these kinds of uh, meditation uh, retreats. I, 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 I don't have that uh, information. Uh, but sure, they visit India, Nepal, and also Sri Lanka's uh, 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 Buddhist sites there, sure. Uh, I know many Chinese uh, when I visit uh, Buddha Gaya in India for that. Yeah, welcome. Well, we've already reached um, our time limit. It's almost 7 p.m. here in LA. Um, thank you so much, Elsa, for presenting today. It was really a very fascinating lecture. Also, thanks to everyone in the audience for attending the fifth lecture of our monthly series. And as usual, I want to express my gratitude to the University of the West, Fu Guangshan, Shilai Temple, and of course, Vivreng. Thank you all. And before we end, one more announcement. The next and final lecture of the series will take place in two weeks on May 10, also at 6 p.m. The lecture will be held by Dr. Melody Chu, who is somewhere in the audience, or was until uh, some seconds ago. Um, Dr. Melody Chu is at currently a postdoctoral a postdoc at a National Taiwan University, and the title of her talk will be An Overview of Deaf Ritual in Chinese Buddhism Monasteries of Present-Day Myanmar, a case study of Shifang Guangyin Si. So everybody have a great evening, morning, wherever you are, and thanks for attending. Bye-bye. Oh, one more thing, Reg registration will be available very soon online. It's not yet, but in the, in the days to come. So thanks everyone for attending.